and now we come to self-esteem. You will never have good self-esteem if you refuse to think well about yourself. Self-esteem is merely feeling good about yourself, and when you feel good about yourself, you develop confidence. Confidence then builds self-esteem. Each one feeds the other. Once you get the rhythm going, you can accomplish almost anything. Self-esteem is just that, what you think about yourself. You have the freedom to think anything you want. Why would you ever want to belittle yourself? You were born extremely confident. You came into this world knowing how wonderful you are. You were so perfect when you were a tiny baby. You did not have to do anything. You were already perfect, and you acted as if you knew it. You knew you were the center of the universe, and you were not afraid to ask for what you wanted. You freely expressed your emotions. Your mother knew when you were angry. In fact, the whole neighborhood knew it. And when you were happy, your smile lit up the whole room. You were so full of love and confidence. Tiny babies will die if they don't get love. But once we are older, we can learn to live without love. But no baby will stand for that. Little babies love every inch of their bodies, even their own feces. They have no guilt, no shame, no comparison. They know they are unique and wonderful. You were like that. Then somewhere during your childhood, well-meaning parents passed on their own insecure feelings and taught you feelings of inadequacy and fear. At that point, you began to deny your own magnificence. These thoughts and feelings never were true and certainly are not true now. I want to bring you back to the time when you really knew how to love yourself. Mirror work is simple and very powerful. Mirror work simply means looking into a mirror when you say your affirmations. Mirrors reflect our true feelings back to us. As children, we received most of our negative messages from adults, many of them looking us straight in the eye and perhaps even shaking a finger at us. Most of us today, when we look into a mirror, will say something negative to ourselves. We either criticize our looks or berate ourselves for something. To look yourself in the eye and make a positive declaration about yourself is one of the quickest ways to get positive results with affirmations. I ask people to look in their eyes and say something positive about themselves every time they pass a mirror. And if something unpleasant happens to you during the day, immediately go to the mirror and say, I love you anyway. You see, events come and go, but the love you have for yourself can be constant, and it is the most important quality you possess in your life. And if something wonderful happens, go to the mirror and say, thank you. Acknowledge yourself for creating this wonderful experience. First thing in the morning and last thing in the evening, I want you to look into your eyes and say, I love you. I really love you, and I accept you exactly as you are. It can be tough at first, but if you stick with it, in a short time this affirmation will be true for you, and won't that be fun? You will find that as your self-love grows, so will your self-respect, and any changes that you find yourself needing to make will be easier to accomplish when you know that they are the right ones for you. Love is never outside yourself. It is always within you. As you are more loving, you will be more lovable. So choose new thoughts to think about yourself and choose new words to tell yourself how magnificent you are and that you deserve all the good that life has to offer. I am totally adequate for all situations. I choose to feel good about myself. I am worthy of my own love. 
I stand on my own two feet. I accept and use my own power. It is safe for me to speak up for myself. I am loved and accepted exactly as I am right here and right now. My self-esteem is high because I honor who I am. My life gets more fabulous every day. I look forward to what each new hour brings. I am neither too little nor too much, and I do not have to prove myself to anyone. Life supports me in every possible way. My consciousness is filled with healthy, positive, loving thoughts that reflect themselves in my experience. The greatest gift I can give myself is unconditional love. I love myself exactly as I am. I no longer wait to be perfect in order to love myself. Let's talk about forgiveness. You can never be free of bitterness as long as you continue to think unforgiving thoughts. How can you be happy in this moment if you continue to choose to think angry and resentful thoughts? Thoughts of bitterness cannot create joy. No matter how justified you feel you are, no matter what they did, if you insist on holding on to the past, then you will never be free. Forgiveness of yourself and of others will release you from the prison of the past. When you feel that you are stuck in some situation, or when your affirmations are not working, it usually means there is some more forgiving to be done. When you do not flow freely with life in the present moment, it usually means you are holding on to a past moment. It can be regret, sadness, hurt, fear, or guilt, blame, anger, resentment, and sometimes a desire for revenge. Each one of these states comes from a space of unforgiveness, a refusal to let go and to come into the present moment. Only in the present moment can you create your future. If you are holding on to the past, you cannot be in the present. It is only in this now moment that your thoughts and words are powerful. So you really don't want to waste your current thoughts to continue to create your future from the garbage of the past. When you blame another, you give your own power away because you are placing the responsibility for your feelings on someone else. People in our lives may behave in ways that trigger uncomfortable responses in us, However, they did not get into our minds and create the buttons that have been pushed. Taking responsibility for our own feelings and reactions is mastering our ability to respond. In other words, we learn to consciously choose rather than simply react. Forgiveness is a tricky and confusing concept for many people. There is a difference between forgiveness and acceptance. Forgiving someone does not mean that you condone their behavior. And the act of forgiveness takes place in your own mind. It really has nothing to do with the other person. The reality of true forgiveness lies in setting ourselves free from holding on to the pain. It is simply an act of releasing yourself from the negative energy. Also, forgiveness does not mean allowing the painful behaviors or actions of another to continue in your life. Sometimes forgiveness means letting go. You forgive them and release them. Taking a stand and setting healthy boundaries is often the most loving thing you can do, not only for yourself but for the other person as well. No matter what your reasons are for having bitter, unforgiving feelings, you can go beyond them. You can get off it. You can let it go. You only live in the now, and you can choose to think thoughts that make you feel good right now. You can choose to practice thinking thoughts that create a positive today and tomorrow. 
Know that you are creating thinking habits that will serve you well forever. Positive Affirmations for Achieving Forgiveness The door to my heart opens inwards. I move through forgiveness to love. As I change my thoughts, the world around me changes. The past is over, so it has no power now. The thoughts of this moment create my future. It is no fun being a victim. I refuse to be helpless anymore. I claim my own power. I give myself the gift of freedom from the past and move with joy into the now. There is no problem too big or too small that it cannot be solved with love. I am ready to be healed. I am willing to forgive. And all is well. I know that old negative patterns no longer limit me. I let them go with ease. As I forgive myself, it becomes easier to forgive others. I forgive myself for not being perfect. I am living the very best way I know how. It is now safe for me to release all of my childhood traumas and move into love. I forgive everyone in my past for all perceived wrongs. I release them with love. All of the changes in life that lie before me are positive ones, and I am safe. You have a choice. You can choose to stay stuck and bitter, or you can do yourself a favor by willingly forgiving the past and let it go and then move on to create a joyous, fulfilling life. You have the freedom to make your life anything you want it to be because you have freedom of choice. <laughs>